Hey, welcome back to another video. My name is Angelo. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so right now. Did you do it? Did you do it? All right, awesome. So now that you guys are subscribed to the channel, moving forward, today we are going to make a video around how to make tuna patties. This recipe I found on Pinterest is a great alternative to the normal ground beef, the normal sausage, the normal bacon, eggs, the type of stuff that you eat on keto. So it allows you to kind of switch things up a little bit and get you back interested into your diet. So if you guys are ready to get started, let's get cooking. All right, so this recipe only calls for a total of five ingredients. Ingredient number one is going to be sriracha mayo. If you guys have not tried sriracha mayo, you have to pick this up. It is a game changer on the keto diet. High in fat, low in carb, low in protein. Next is gonna be the tuna. So we actually do a nine ounce can. This recipe does call for two five ounce cans, but I only had a nine ounce can, so we're gonna make this work. Just make sure when you pick this up from the store that you get the in water version. If you get the in oil version, it will actually increase your macros, increase your fats, increase your protein. Proteins. It's just not as good. So get the in-water version when you get pick up your tuna. Next is going to be the sharp cheddar cheese. Now you really can do any cheese that you want. I just prefer the sharp cheddar. I haven't tried mozzarella provolone. If you do, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. But we're going to use sharp cheddar today. Two eggs. And last but not least, and stay with me on this one guys, but pork rinds, a whole bag of it. You need four ounces, this is a 3.5 ounce bag. Since I'm going a little less on the tuna, this will work perfect. Even if you guys don't like pork rinds, this is still an absolute uh, a necessity to have in this recipe and you won't even taste it in there, you won't even know it's in there. So um, that is the last ingredient that we need, so let's go ahead and get this mixed up. All right, so the first step that you have to do is you actually have to grind up the pork rinds. I'm gonna be using a blender. You guys can use a food processor if you do decide to, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this, um, make it quick, and then I will show you guys how to mix up all the ingredients. All right, so now that we got the pork rinds all ground up, you wanna make sure it's like in a base like this. It's just like breadcrumbs, essentially. Um, but like I said, it's a healthier version, doesn't have any of the carbs in it. So we're gonna get all the ingredients put in here now just into the mixing bowl. So we got the 3.5 ounces of pork rinds two of the eggs, and the nine ounces of the tuna in water. And then make sure you obviously drained the can of tuna. You don't wanna put all that water in there. I already pre-drained mine just to save us some time on the video. All right, and then last but not least, we have the cheese. So put that in there. All right, let's go ahead and get this all mixed up. All right, now that we got this all mixed up, this is the base you want. Doesn't look the most appetizing, but I promise you guys, stick with me. At the end, you will absolutely love this meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over and show you guys the next step in the cooking process. All right, so now that we got this all mixed up, I brought a plate over. What we're gonna do is we're gonna evenly distribute this into small balls. When we do that, we're gonna be flatting them into patty shapes. So you just wanna make sure that they're all roughly about the same size. I'm not gonna measure it out because I think that's just tedious work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just evenly distribute them just using my eyes. So starting off, just go ahead and grab and then just make a ball just like this. And now I don't actually make them into patties until I put them in the pan. So I'll show you these guys that in a minute. Let me go ahead and evenly distribute the remaining of this and we'll see how many patties we have. All right, so we got a total of five patties out of this. Like I said, keep them in the ball shape. Now we're gonna go ahead and preheat the stove top, and then I'm gonna show you what we use to actually fry these and make them good golden brown color and have a little bit crispy on the outside. But first I gotta get my hands washed. All right, so next you wanna go ahead and preheat your stove top with a pan on it to about medium heat. Mine's labeled in number, so I go about four, four and a half. All right, now that that's preheating, I've already weighed out 14 grams of coconut oil. I use this as the base to be able to fry the tuna patties. If you guys wanna use olive oil or any other base, you can feel free to go ahead and do that. I just find coconut oil being the best. It makes the outside of the tuna patties really crispy. Um, but if you use anything else, go ahead and leave it in the comments and let me know what you guys use and how it's worked out for you. So we're gonna go ahead and get this in the pan now. Right, just move it around making sure it gets every piece of that. 
All right, now that the coconut oil is all melted in the pan, you're gonna go ahead and put the tuna patties in there, but like I said, again, keep them in that ball shape, and then we'll flatten them once they get into the pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them down in here, and we should be able to fit all five of them right in there. All right, now that they're all in there, we'll just take a basic spatula, and then you can kind of press them out how you want to and how big you want them to be. I prefer to have mine just a tad bit thicker. I feel like it tastes a little bit better, gets a little bit more to it. Perfect, and so now that these are cooking in here, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and leave these in here for about two to three minutes on each side or until they get golden brown, and then you'll flip them over and do the other side, and once that's all done, then we can pull them off, and I'll show you guys what that looks like when they are fully done and ready to be pulled off and put into containers. Alright, so just wanted to check back in with you guys real quick, let you know that these are ready to be flipped over. It's been about two or three minutes, but I can definitely see that they're golden brown. I flipped this one over right now, and I hope you guys can see that, but it's nice and crispy on the outside. Um, that's exactly the way you want it. Uh, you can go a little bit darker if you do want to, but I'm going to go ahead and flip the rest of these, and then we will leave them on the side for another two to three minutes, and then they will be all done, and then we will get this video all wrapped up. All right, so we're all wrapped up. This looks perfect, looks so tasty. So I've had this before and thought it was a perfect meal, but for some reason this turned out way better. Um, I weighed out my 15 grams of sriracha mayo. I usually just dip it in there, I'll just sprinkle it on top when I'm meal prepping, but this is a perfect alternative. But let's not wait any longer. Let's get a quick taste test underway for you guys. So take you just a little bit, got my trusty fork here. All right, gonna get some of this and then get some of the sriracha mayo on there. Wow, so it is so good, absolutely. So I would definitely try this recipe, guys. I'm gonna leave it in the description for you, the exact recipe so you can follow it to a T. Even though I use a little bit less tuna and a little bit less of the pork rinds, still turned out perfect. So. Go ahead and wrap up this video for you guys. We really appreciate you watching again. If you guys like this style of video and different recipes to try out, let me know. Go ahead and smash the like button. But also leave me a comment below and let me know some other videos that you guys might want to see or different recipes. I'm more than happy to make those videos just for you guys. But thanks again for watching. If you guys have not already subscribed, go ahead and do so. I will leave all this stuff in the description for you once again. But thank you guys again for watching my video and I look forward to seeing you again at the next video.